applications on TIs, right? So, because I have this device now, I can install any application I want. As you can see here, I have Netflix. The reason why I can have Netflix on this is because on TIs or on most head units, there's a specific Netflix version that you can actually download in order to make Netflix work. Now, I'm going to go on Netflix and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. All right. It works exactly like, you know, Netflix works. Now, if you have Netflix, then you know exactly what it works. I'm going to go on anime here so you can see. I'm not going to play any of these because then I'll get a copyright strike. But if you have Netflix, you basically know how this kind of works. All right. So there you go. All I have to do is press this and then the episode starts. All right. Great. So, in terms of applications, um, you can't find Netflix on the App Store. But you need to remember, this is just an Android tablet. That's anything an Android tablet can do, this can basically do. So, if you cannot find your application on the App Store, that does not mean that um, you can't install the application on you know the device. It just means that the application is not available on the App Store. So, Netflix is not available. So, guess what I did? I went on Google Chrome. Okay, and then I downloaded the APK file of Netflix, the right one. And then because of that, I was able to have Netflix on there. OK, and there are a few other, you know, um, applications which are not available in the App Store. But then again, if you have, you know, Google Chrome or you download another uh, App Store, which has these applications, you can actually install it on there. All right. Great. So let's go to the App Store. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. So obviously you have Android Auto on there, but you don't really need it as long as you're um device is synced to um the bluetooth you can basically you know call people and do all kinds of nonsense on there right so there you go um let's go to the google play store in general right here we go okay so you have movies you have applications just like you know the app store like in general you can have whatsapp on here and talk to people uh, you know text and all that i wouldn't recommend you do that because you might probably be driving you can have spotify on here you can actually listen to podcasts and so on and so forth um and you can have youtube on here as well but you can basically have anything that you can download on the android device on here that's a good thing there's no limitations on what you can and cannot download unless it just doesn't work for your android version that this screen um this device has all right another thing is you can play high-end graphics video games on TICC3 because of the hardware i'm really impressed with this and i actually saw a tutorial of a guy who um used a controller in order to play video games on here in fact he was playing a ps2 emulator and he was playing a nintendo ds emulator on the screen i've never seen any you know um audio you know device from halford or anything like that doing that and the reason why he can do that is because this actually comes with um usb ports which you can wire through your car right so i've done that with my one and what the guy did is he connected the uh, wireless um, little plug thingy in here and because of that he could actually use his controller and he used it to play video games so what i'm going to be doing at some point is i'm going to be actually demonstrating what you can and cannot do with ti's cc3 these people should actually pay me for the amount of advertising i'm doing right now for free but the main reason i'm doing this is because when i was doing my research for this device um, there are loads of people who did these, you know, reviews on what the device can do, but they all basically, number one, did basic things with it, which didn't really help because after that, you couldn't really get any more value out of it when you actually in reality could. Number two is they were speaking Russian or some kind of other foreign language, which I couldn't understand. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. And once I get the device, I can actually show people in English, you know, what you can and cannot do with the device. So yeah, I'm going to make as many tutorials as possible as I can in order to show you what I actually can do and cannot do with the, this, this device. So you know whether it's worthwhile um, for you to buy it. So yeah, you can actually thank me for taking the L for you or, you know, taking the risk for you. So you don't have to if you don't like this device. But in general, based on the other head units that I've seen, this is the best one in terms of quality and in terms of like UI design and stuff. Like I can see that there are a few other, you know, um, head units which have the same, you know, quality, except the UI design is absolutely rubbish. It looks like it's been done by, you know, somebody who just was, you know, got good spec, you know, um, head unit and was trying to just like sell it as much as, you know, for as quickly as possible. So, yeah, I like how the UI has actually been done with care but yeah in general yeah in terms of apps you can actually download alternative apps from elsewhere okay so for example youtube youtube is getting a bit too smart for his boots and they literally give you ads back to back i don't like that so therefore i don't even use youtube 
instead what I have done is I went on Google Chrome and downloaded a other version of YouTube which is ad free. This is YouTube Advanced and it gives you all the premium features that YouTube allows you to use and you don't have to pay anything for it. So therefore, yeah, I have an ad version, ad free version of YouTube. Now, you can get an ad free version of Spotify, but the problem is that Spotify is already pre-installed on here and if you were to get the ad free version and install it, it will not override the one that's already on here. So therefore you um, can't put the ad free version of Spotify on here. Unfortunately, any app that is already pre-installed on this, you can't override with a hacked version. So yeah, um, that is mostly um, apps there for you. As you can see there, I have Google voice search and I have Google assistant. All right, so I'm going to activate your Google device just as a warning for you. But um, I'm going to say, hey, Google. Hey, Google. There you go. See, turns up just fine. Okay, indeed. How can I help? All right, cool. Shut up. All right, cool. So um, the reason why I can actually do this is because I have installed um, TI's voice. All right. So when you first get your device, go on TI's. Okay. And then what you want to do is install TI's voice part one and part two. That's because this actually updates the software and the microphone and allows it to actually listen to you. So once you do that and you set up your Google Voice Assistant to listen to you, as long as you have a microphone, obviously, it will, you know, listen to you and do whatever you say. So I can literally tell my Google, right? I can tell Google to take me home. And then um, if I've logged in with my Google account, what happens is um, it's preset where my home is and it's going to give me direction from there. Like it can literally be done but i'm not going to do that right now because i don't want anyone to know you know where i actually live all right so yeah uh, for the most part those are applications for you what i will be doing is actually you know testing out video games and emulators and all these other things so you actually know what this is fully capable of all right so as you can see there i have mx player there because it's actually better than the video play that um this comes with so as you can see let's try this one there we go here look um start over how about that great thing is with mx player you can adjust the volume and it works perfectly fine okay um with this one you can't adjust the the um brightness it doesn't do anything okay with mx player doesn't do anything okay um you can actually adjust the volume using mx player you can actually adjust the volume using this this is only for the voxel opal astro j same you know same card different names and obviously the last thing about this that people have problems with is actually getting the steer to work okay and i'm going to make a tutorial about that soon as well so if your steer doesn't work the buttons on the steer doesn't work there's a perfect solution to that for you and i'm going to show you that in the, the next video with that being said i hope this actually helped you out and it helps you decide whether you want one of these devices or not to me, I think it's absolutely worth the purchase by 100%. And I'm fully satisfied with that. So yeah, um, that'll be all.